In this example, we want to find the derivative of f of x equals to cosine of 3x all raised to the fourth power. Okay. All right, so to do this again, we need to use the, the uh, general power rule. Okay. So we're going to take care of the outside power first and then work our way towards the inside. Okay. So we have f of x equals to cosine to the power of 4. So this is really the same thing as cosine of 3x all raised to the fourth power. Okay. Okay, so applying the general power rule, okay, we can go ahead and bring down the 4. Okay, subtract 1. And then we're going to take the derivative of the inside part. So the derivative with respect to x of cosine 3x. Okay. All right, so notice I don't write the power here, okay, because the power in, in, in the derivative. Uh, because that was already taken care of, okay? So then from there, okay, we're going to get, okay, so this is going to be equal to 4 times cosine cubed, 3x. All right, so we're going to take the derivative of this, so that's going to be 3, okay? Oh, not 3, I'm sorry, uh, sine, okay? So we're going to start with cosine first. So this is going to be minus sine of 3x, okay? Because the derivative of, so the derivative of cosine is minus sine, okay? All right, and then we're going to take the derivative of the inside part, which is 3x, okay? So we have 4 times cosine cubed Okay, cosine 3x cubed times minus sine of 3x. And then we're going to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of 3x is just 3. Okay, and we can go ahead and simplify this. So we have minus 12 times cosine of 3x cubed times sine 3x. Okay, so that is uh, that is the derivative for our function. Okay, so again, we start with the outside power. Okay, in this case, four. We bring down four, subtract one, and then we work with the cosine term. Okay, uh, and then the three uh, x part. Okay, so that's again. This is uh, we're applying the general power rule uh, uh, more than once here. Okay.